Welcome back. It's been about six months since I've posted last, so uh, I apologize for that. But as you can see, I'm not in my old unit anymore. Might have got a uh, new workshop, which, uh, set the door, keep the heat in. I've kind of gone a little bit with my stepmom's business, Louise Peacock Creative Studios. Got the race car. So I'm getting ready for ASI 2020, all two sport. I've got my dad's crappy Hyundai, what nobody likes, but we're gonna sell. So I've got my good friend Liam Spence coming over and he's he's a detailer. So have a look at him. I'll try and somehow, I'm not very good at this phone editing stuff. He's gonna come and polish this, ceramic coat it, do what he's gotta do with it. And yeah, that'll be sold and I'm probably gonna get a recovery truck because you might have seen on the socials I do have a Suzuki Jimny, which I go out with uh, Andy Bevan, uh, Mike Newland, a couple other guys um, from Rice Lip Ties and some other companies. And we go have a play. So they've got a little um, SJ. I've got the Jimny. My Jimny's road legal. So it's not as built as I want it to be, but got to keep on the right side of the law, especially with my job. I work in the civil service now, what I've done for a past year or so. So I've got to be legal on the road and all that sort of stuff. Everyone should be legal anyway, but yeah. Anyway, I've also picked up this 328. Uh, me and my dad got this because we want to do some little bit of drifty skids and not damage the MX-5. So what we've got is a nice caged, proper cage. Got a heater on it at the moment. Full cage, 328. Never been driven on the road by us. We brought it, uh, somebody advertised it, who we know on Facebook, and within nine minutes of him up putting it up, I transferred him the money and he uh, come and dropped it off. But yeah, so this is the new workshop, big roll and shut the door. We're just trying to save and get a two poster in here. But dad's put up all our old carting stuff, a couple of suits what he likes, and craps, but yeah. Obviously got my flags and we're just uh, naturally ironing out the creases on these. My stepmom's business as well. But yeah, this is the new workshop. So it is absolutely massive in here. I've had a couple of friends over here sort it all out. But we've only just moved into this a few weeks ago. So hence why everything's just a mess. Threw some shelves up, throwing everything on it. So if you ask me where something is, I'd just say go look, go look for yourself. But yeah, so we've got all my stuff in here. We've got all my dad's tools. This side and all my stepmom's stuff. So dad's there, he's just, uh, I'll come show you. Painted the inside of the MX-5. You enjoyed that, didn't you dad? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've just painted the inside. I've only ever rattle canned it inside before. So dad's gone over it with some hammerite, getting the car all ready. Uh, me and Liam gave this a little polish. Uh, first time it's ever been polished. And uh, yeah, come out quite good. We tried to clay bar it, but I've obviously got like trade lacquer on it. Um, so when I put the clay bar on it, it just flattened it all out and it started to look pants. So we just polished it instead. But yeah, no real changes to the car. Um, do have some goodies what the boys at Destroyer Die sent me. I'm going to get those fitted sometime. But this is like, this is being filmed between Christmas and New Year. So you know what that's like, where you're either through coma, tired, you don't know what's going on, don't know what day of the week it is. Look at these boys, these little Johns. So yeah, cheers uh, Dan for sending those. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next project to get those fitted. Also picked up some uh, E46 arms with this BM and uh, some hubs. And we got some uh, eBay spec top mounts, which are on the letting the car warm up because it's very condensated because this one stays outside the workshop. Um, we normally leave the Navara in here. But yeah, let's have a look in here. Just fitted a, the old passenger seat out of the MX-5 into here. You can see why this is all like just all condensated and horrible in here. So got the heater on, I'm trying to do this without editing because I hate editing. But yeah, fitted some uh, little wheel. Just gonna get a uh, hydro fitted. Got to get a new diff. I want to get a 4.44 ratio. Um, th thanks to Stephen McConnell. Uh, he's helped me out big time with this. I've asked him like, questions at like, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning and he just answers. 
Um, he does do nights, but he always answers. I love Stephen. He's wicked. I'm Michelle too. So yeah, they're gonna. Well, he was the one who convinced me to get a 36. To be fair, and um, James Stephen as well, because uh, they want me to go up to Driftland and Goldsby with them. Uh, when we was out in Jim Carn Grid in Poland, they just kept pestering me. Buy a 36. Buy a 36. Buy a 36. So a couple of months later, we got this one. I believe. This 36 was from a college who did motorsport and they built parts of this car. I'm not really too sure, but nine out of 10 things I undo, they're FT because they're all cross-threaded. So there's a lot of uh, drilling and tapping and running die sets everywhere just to correct what's been done, but we've never cleaned it. There's all these crappy stickers on and a half-hearted M powered by BMW Motorsport. Sanskrit, but that's all gonna come off. But yeah, I gotta get a friend to put a harness bar in it because they made this fancy cage, which is like a jungle gym. I believe they made it to a touring car spec and hasn't got a single point in it where I can put a harness, wrap around harness on it. So I'm gonna go send it to one of my mates who's a lot, well, he's a fabricator. He builds pro mod drag cars and he's gonna throw a harness bar in there for us because I don't wanna die if I weld it. So I don't even weld diffs. So when I get this 4.44 diff as well, he's gonna weld that up for us. But yeah, thank you for watching. I blurbed a lot, chatted a lot of shit. But new workshop, new digs, new cars. And yeah, look forward to 2020.